Okay, so today is a great day because the Heritage Grill is going in. Um, since you last saw us, we've installed this back in, which we've painted black. Um, this kit we got from eBay, which is a pulley release system, because as you know, if we want to have a Heritage Grill, you have to change the system. Normally, it's a little flick thing here, but we've bought this kit off eBay. The wire comes through here, all the way along there, and into the cabin there, you can see and then you should be able to pull this and the bonnet will release. So we're going to carry on with installing that, get the bonnet on, get the new bumper on and then fit the Heritage Grill today. What we're doing if we can and just hope the magic happens, you know. That's my boy. Just fixed the bonnet cable into the footwell. You can see here, it's not aligned, which is perfect. So when you pull the lever, which I'll do quickly, it should align itself. And then unalign itself again. Is that what it's doing? Yep. Perfect. Nice. Okay, so hopefully this should shut now. Okay, shut now. I'm gonna come around here and pull this. Oh, oh. <laughs> not Maybe. bad. Let's go. There's still quite a big gap this side, but the mechanism works. Here's our new bumper from eBay. We're gonna install it seeing as we're now on a roll of success. The new cable thingy is inserted, so before we put the heritage grill on, we need to put the new bumper on. So we're gonna do that now. However, when we took our old bumper off, there were some problems. This bolt is still stuck in there, so that needs to get, get, get out. Nice, nice. It's out. We're getting somewhere. Oh! oh. Damn, that's nice. Oh Whoa. yes, mate. Oh, mate. <laughs> oh. Comes with two bolts for each side and a sort of clip that you put your bolt on. That. No way. No way. This would be far too easy if that actually works. Oh, no way. Thing in. Seems to be going down. Now we need to align these ones. Right, go. Let me get one. We did it. Bumper done. Now Heritage Grill to go on. Kit that Ben's bought has also come with some really nice little rubber caps.
bumper done. So here it is, the Heritage Grill and the other accessories that came with it. We're now gonna paint this the same color as the bodywork so that it all ties in nicely. have been painted you can see we're just gonna let the heritage grill dry and then we're gonna put it on the car but it's looking really good while we're waiting for the grill to dry we're just gonna rib it in this section Did you get a clip and that's how you do it baby Snapping. Is that a good snap? Clean snap? Yeah. Should we just inspect the snap? Oh yeah, that's actually pretty good. Well done. <clears throat> nice. So it's the morning after. We've painted the Heritage Grill. It's come out really nicely and we're just fitting it now. You've got one spacer over in this corner here another one in that corner there and then four bolts that go along the top or in our case three bolts because we haven't got one to go in there um, but three out of four is pretty good all right everyone that's the end of the video thank you very much for watching super happy with how everything's come out and stay tuned for plenty more videos to come <laughs>